the world famous twister. The, 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 <laughs> my coach knows when he tells me, we're going to do the walls. You have to smile. You have to say, I love it. I love it. No, I hate it. <laughs> and we are All Things Paddle. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another exciting episode of Paddle's Master Ac Academy. We're so happy. We're on location. We're at the Pan American Senior Championship in Brazil, Camboriú. I'm here, I'm with Alejandra Aguilar, Cancun Waves professional PPL player, representing Mexico right now. Uh, welcome to the channel, Alejandra. Thank you so Thank much. You. It's so nice to meet you because Thank I follow you. your podcast and I'm so happy to be with this guy that is also competing for USA, good, right? Good, good, So tell us, how are you doing in the, in the, in the podcast? In the, in the tournament, I'm in sorry. In the tournament, I, we won yesterday against Argentina, tiebreaker. Today we won against Brazil, so we're in semifinals already. All right, go Tomorrow, power, baby. go Mexico! <laughs> semifinals tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. Brazil. Okay. Mexico, it's going to be 5.30 in the morning, I think. Wow. So, Who is your partner? Lisette Carrillo. Okay. She's from Chiapas, and we know each other since we were little from tennis. Okay. And we have played all this year together. So. And tell us a little bit about your uh, paddle journey. When did you start it? How did you find out about paddle and all that? Well, I started about a year and a half, a little bit more ago. Uh, friends, just friends, invited me to really? the Retitas, <laughs> like something social. And actually, it's funny because they told me, don't let the ball pass you from the net because you have no idea what that is. <laughs> so when I saw the ball coming from the walls, I was like, what is this? So I just did volleys, I was really good. And then I, I got hooked, like I think like everybody. Yeah. Became an addiction and I wanted to be better. And I just started training, playing tournaments. But in, in Leon, there's not many girls that play. I mean, not they play good, they, they've been developing their game, but I play with guys mostly. And I train, but I, wanted to play better, so I started playing tournaments outside of my city. Okay. I think that's what helped me a lot, like meeting other players, women that play the higher level. Obviously, I didn't win, but I played against them and I wanted to get better and I'm here. Fantastic. So, and before that, were you a tennis player? I was a tennis player. Okay. Tennis coach and tennis player. Yes. Tennis coach. Always in Mexico? In the U.S. Oh, in the yeah, U.S. I lived 18 years in the U.S. I was a college player for Armstrong Atlantic State University, Savannah, Georgia. Oh, nice. Four years, and I went to Europe, and I came back. I was a head coach at Liberty University in Virginia. Wow. Then I went to live in Naples for like about nine years. I was a head pro at a club, and then I moved to St. Simons Island, Georgia. I actually worked with my boss was uh, Murphy Jensen and You're Luke Jensen. Me. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I say Incredible. hi to Murphy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we worked at the Cloister in St. Simon's Island for about four years, I think. I was head pro there. And uh, after that, we moved back to Mexico, Good. to Leon, Guanajuato. Tell us about the PPL. How did you get drafted? Uh, your experience with the first PPL. Well, I got drafted. That was actually funny because I uh, sent my resume and Alejandro from Las Vegas contacted me and said, Listen, I had a space and we filled it up. But I know the guys from Kangoon Waves and they need a girl. And they need somebody that has either a foreigner or a Mexican. Okay. So I have both residences and they call me, but it was at the very last minute, I think. So hey, you better I, than nothing. Of course, yeah. I wanted to get drafted <laughs> and I was like, I can't believe they're calling me. So they said, listen, we need uh, for you to send us a whole match, you know, in video, to send us a video saying blah, 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 if you can, you can read the rules and whatever. And that day I was transmitting, uh, narrating a paddle tournament. Wow. So I was going to play that night and the production said, no, we'll film your, your match you're and then we'll send me. it. Wow. And then the next day they called me, you're drafted, you're in. I could not believe it. Way to I go, girl. Really happy. <laughs> And to be in the Mexican team, obviously, that was wow. like a really cool thing. Also. That that's amazing. Are you gonna get drafted again for this coming year? I don't know. Well, it's the superpower probably oh. now. <laughs> I don't know. So tell them the. I don't uh, know. Who's, who uh, Cancun Waves has any new players this year or? Well, I think Ana Mari is gonna play. Okay. She's from Mexico. Ana Cortiles definitely is gonna play. She played the All Star game. Yeah. Uh, Juan Margañaras is gonna play, I believe. I don't know if Agustin Torre will play. 
um, Vero Virceda, they got they drafted her at the World Ball Tour in Mexico because I saw Osvaldo and he told me this is our new player. And I don't know who else from the boys, but I mean, I mean they're really making Houston Bolts yeah. is powerhouse. With Miami York, yeah. is powerhouse. New York too. New York Before Atlantic is Chica, uh, unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the Florida Flo yeah, the Florida, Florida baby <laughs> Aranza is gonna play in that team, yeah. and I'm sure they're gonna have yeah. amazing players. I mean, it's gonna be really cool. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Yes. So where do you see Pat on the U.S. going? Oh, I believe it's they're doing it the right way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're building a lot of courts, and I really admire the project of the PPL because I think it's gonna create that. I don't know that that view of the people that don't know the game. I think yeah. people need to know the game yeah. because they get interested in. It. Yeah. They need to try it. They need to just go and play because I think sometimes it's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know the rules. In Mexico, it happened like that in my city. We have, we just have like two years in paddle, but people just try it and they get hooked, and then all of a sudden it grows. And there's more clubs, more courts. So I think that's the thing that people need to go to watch the Pro Paddle League to get hooked into paddle. And that's a, believe me, it's easy to do it. Let me ask you a, a, a personal question of the year now. I've, I've been representing the US, you represented Mexico. And I seen these guys that they have 30, 40 years of paddle on their background. And you see them a little bit out of shape and all that, but they are outstanding players. Even from Mexico, from Chile, from Argentina. And you know, we're, the U.S. is so far behind. How was your experience with with Mexico? Because I've seen some absolute incredible Mexican players. Do you feel your level is comparable to the, to the rest of the team or not? Well, I think actually yesterday we were talking about it with the coach, and we said I am a coach for strength and conditioning. So I believe I'm not like so talented, but I think I. If you want to say it like that, when you compensate with good, you know, with good strength and performance, it takes you to another level. So for this competition, the whole year I said, I'm going to prepare physically for okay. this. Yeah, I might not be the most skillful, skillful or finesse player, yeah. but that I think that gives me a little edge, you know, yeah. for me. But they're, they're, like you said, there's guys that you see them and you're like, they're a little chubby, they might not play, I mean, with their eyes closed, they play the walls. Anything they do is like, I mean, yeah, they no, never no. miss a ball. They never, I mean, their defense is absolutely outstanding. It's incredible. So I think it's just the matter of training and competing. You know, the girls in Mexico that play, I mean, we have Aranza. Aranza yeah. is in our team and she has gone to 15 World Battle Cups. 15. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah. 15 years competing at this <laughs> level. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So she said, you need hours on the court in competition and hours on the court in training. Yeah. That's all we need. Yeah. I think that's, and that's going to come with time. Yeah. We don't have much, <laughs> we don't have a lot of time, but we're getting older. But a year, I think a year in paddle is like four years in tennis, for yeah. example. And how many hours do you spend on the court? You know, a year, I mean, you have to, it's, it's like the rule of the 10,000 hour. You know, you got to spend those 10,000 hours to totally. master the sport. Exactly. We're, we're way behind, but, uh, yeah, yeah, we're way behind, but I think we're learning. And I think coming to these competitions, it's what we need. Yeah. Because yeah. we get, you get measured. Like myself, for example, I said, you know, I want to see other girls in other countries to see in what level I am and what do I need to work for yeah. whatever else I need to do, you know? And this helped me. I mean, I, yeah. I didn't really expect to win because they said Argentina, oh my God, Argentina. <laughs> like you said, they have 60 years of battle. Yeah. And yeah. now that, that we win the matches, we're like, whoa, we're, yeah. we're like right there, you know? Yeah, it, it, it is defined by just a few points that here and there, but totally. the, 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 the way they defend, I mean, and you seem a little bit out of shape, these guys or the girls, but they're absolutely incredible how they play. They I mean, they find the hands. angles. The chiquitas, the loves. I mean, they're like, oh my god, you know. I mean, and, and we're warming up, and you think, oh my god, these guys are all, oh, they're done, and start playing paddle. And it's like, whoa, whoa, what happens right. here, you know? Yeah, no, so, and it's, I mean, the, the, I think the hard thing about the tournament, the interesting thing, because it's not hard, the ten point tiebreaker. Yeah. I mean, it could That's go it. either way. Yeah. So you need to play, like, perfect. 
and also the golden point. The golden point. You know, it, 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 there has to be a strategy behind it. You know, exactly. because if not, and here is like I was thinking. You know, all the conditioning I did, it doesn't mean <laughs> I have to play like perfect. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Third set. You'll go well, you know. Yeah. I'll hit 30 balls in, and I'll yeah. get them tired. Yeah. If you don't play the tiebreaker good, it's like you're done. <laughs> good. So, so, at the end of the interview, we'll go into the golden point questions. Okay. Uh, I like that. I like that point session. <laughs> I like that. So, okay. what do you prefer to play, right or left? I prefer left, but I play right right now. I prefer left. Okay. Interesting. What is your best shot? My best shot, the volley. Forehand or backhand volley? Backhand volley. Okay. Uh, what is your worst shot? The, the borranchina. <laughs> the, when you have to like turn. Oh, the, the world famous twister? The, uh, that, <laughs> that. My coach knows when he tells me, we're going to do the walls. You have to smile. You have to say, I love it. I love it. No, I hate it. But I have to smile. Good. That. Who is your favorite, favorite partner that you love to play with? Favorite partner? Gonna, we're gonna tag them. <laughs> Agustin Tapia, no mentira. No. Uh, partner. Well, I don't have like a permanent partner. Right now it's Lisette. I think that's who I have played the most with, like all the year together. Well, Lisette, what, what's the last name? Lisette Carrillo. Ah, okay. Yeah, right now I think she's, she's yes, the one. She's the one right now. Yes. Who's the, 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 the professional player that you, are, you admire? Professional player, I think I like I like Jess Castelo a lot and Bea Gonzalez. I like wow. their style of play. Obviously, Agustin Tapia, but I like Edu Alonso. I like his style of playing too. Interesting. Yes. What are your goals, paddle goals for 2024? Well, I think it, my, I haven't played any category of girls in Mexico because I didn't know any players. I didn't know who to ask to play with. Lisette asked me for 35 and over. So I think staying in 35 and over, now I have a partner for first category and open, which is, I mean, the highest level you can play in girls. And I think just try to get into World Cup, because next year is World Cup. Yeah. So this year, my goal was to be here. And I can't believe I'm here still. <laughs> next year is World Cup. Hopefully I, and to be a better coach, like get certification to, Escalate in that level as a coach. Are you gonna stay in, in the U.S. or are you planning to come back to the States? I don't know. I, w I, I will try to go back to the States if I can. Yes, of course, it's been in my mind. I actually was going back three years ago, uh, but COVID hit and then my dad, uh, he passed away. So I wanted to stay in Mexico for my mom, but it's always been in my mind. So we don't know. Good, good. Yeah. Let's put our hands together and let's go, let's go Mexico. Go Mexico, go oh. USA. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And remember, it's free 99. It doesn't cost you anything to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in to Paddle Smash Academy. We hope you'll find our videos informative, helpful in improving your game and learning all things paddle. So until next time, keep improving your game. And remember, learn, play, and share.